36. I also know guys, it's your boy Roos. Welcome back again to another episode of the podcast. And today we're talking about Godzilla and Kong, the new empire which dominates box office with a monstrous opening weekend. Now, Godzilla and Kong, the new empire is the ruler of the box office in its opening week. The new MonsterVerse installment, Godzilla x Kong, the new empire, has set out to wreak havoc at the box office, dominating with 80 million in its opening weekend new film is a sequel to 2017's Kong Skull Island and 2021's Godzilla vs Kong and marks the fifth entry in the MonsterVerse franchise. Overall, Godzilla and Kong The New Empire is the 38th film in the Godzilla universe and it proved that the interest in the franchise is still high as it roared its way past expectations at the box office. The film became a new major win for Warner Bros and Legendary with a massive 80 million at the domestic box office way past the initial predictions. Godzilla and Kong the New Empire was expected, okay, expected to gain between 45 million to about 55 million. The MonsterVerse entry had already overpassed predictions on opening day with a smashing 37 million. At the end of the week, the action movie went on to have the fifth biggest Easter opening of all time. Internationally, the film impressed with a 194 million launch after taking in 114 million overseas from 64 markets, which is what, like countries basically. The interest in the franchise is still alive and well. Godzilla Minus One has recently had a historic win at the Oscars, giving the King of the Monsters its first Academy Award. The film won Best Visual Effects. Godzilla and Kong The New Empire debuted with less than encouraging reviews as the critics declared the film rotten with 56% on Rotten Tomatoes. The audiences disagree though as the film boasts a 92% score from the audience which is encouraging for the franchise's future. With Adam Wingard at the helm, the new MonsterVerse film reunites Rebecca Hall, Dan Stevens, Brian Tyree Henry, Kaylee Huttle and Fala Chen. Godzilla and Kong The New Empire was produced on a £135 million budget. Oof! Less than 2021's Godzilla vs. Kong's 155 to £200 million budget. The general rule at the box office is usually two times 0.5 to make a profit, and Godzilla and Kong's first numbers seem encouraging, which could lead to a continuation. The Godzilla Kong The New Empire's first reactions were also motivating with moviegoers praising Adam Wingard's vision. The director who also helmed 2021's Godzilla vs Kong has teased the idea of continuing the franchise with a third installment. The whole idea that if you've done two movies like maybe you should just go ahead and do a third because there's a trilogy in there. I would be very excited to be able to come back on for another one if things worked out. Godzilla and Kong The New Empire is currently out in theatres. This is a massive W for Godzilla as well as Kong, as well as the franchise. Um, I've enjoyed the last one, I've enjoyed the last one to that which was Godzilla and um, Kong fighting each other as well as uh, the one with just Kong, Skull Island, that was it. To me, my personal opinion, with today's graphics and animation being as quality as it is of the era, I feel like it's only going to get better and it makes it much more of an enjoyable, enticing um, visual to be involved with. I'm not saying the old ones compared to the 20s are, in term of the year, are trash. It's just that with the quality and animation, it scales upwards and it's much more enjoyable. Do you know what I mean? So it's what makes me want to watch it even more and delve into the universe of what is Kong and Godzilla's world. This is a huge W in the fact that it's made 180 million, sorry I'm chatting rubbish, it's made 80 million within, um, sorry, uh, within its opening weekend and if it's just within the opening weekend that it's made 80 million then within the week it's bound to make at least 180 million, that's what I was trying to say. So. They've already made two times its amount, which is 
amazing i just think the franchise for kong is of an interest clearly for a lot of people including myself i'm yet to watch this but i'm definitely going to watch this 110 percent and it also goes to show that reviewers who seem to see themselves as critics those people who see themselves highly enough to be judging movies are not the end all and be all because clearly fans loved it and it shows within the scores okay 52 percent i believe i did say that um were rotten to me sorry 56 percent on Rotten Tomatoes disagreed that this movie was even good or enticing but 92% scored from the audience shows how much and how effective this movie had on the audience so if you see yourself as a critic maybe you should you know second guess your opinion or in terms of just us not being a critic maybe we should definitely not really take their opinion as to heart you know it's been your boy Rich from Mr. 36. Well, they watch or listen to this in the morning, afternoon, and evening. I hope you guys enjoy yourself. And if you haven't seen this movie, make sure to make the time to do so. Because in my opinion, from this, it shows that this is something that is going to be a continuation of a third installment. I hope to watch this sooner or later. And I'm out. Take care. Drink water. It's very healthy for y'all. Peace. <laughs>